ông cứ chụp ông chụp đẹp bao cả một tòa cái chụp nạc này chụp thì sắm nạc hay một cái chụp đầm nằm nạc xong lục làm gì được phải là người cả vì sản phẩm vật tư miền vật tư miền phía kỳ nông bộ cung đại lòng chấm đây có hẳn chưa có chỗ rôm được không cách sắm nạc nơi ngày đi tiền xạ xây bầm rong phong vật thân bầm miền So, chấm rẽ lộc bát thiên, cướp phi kỳ tiếng ó, nơi đường cái đây ní minh vật miền, lược lệ tài chun chập chào yên sử lý, quạt minh vật miền nơi bận tụp khum khuôn nơi khang cấm xa sạm nà cả, chun chập chào yên sử lý, tam bạch dạ mê thi vi bạc quạt, bàn sna sôm lệ vang sứt minh vật miền đập toả nơi chấm phu mộc ăn chun nương chấm rẽ, sầm rập bạch dạ bê bên mùi thay nơi thay nỉ, lịch khất lệ vang sứt rồi bỏ chun chọc chọt yên sở rí ban phục cố đo cơ làm chí rùi hỏi chùm này xa xây bầm rong mua khâm nguồn quạt miên vật thầm yên nơi bẩn túc rong trăm nơi kháng khóm xa xa bà nà cả xong mọc cún bà mọc cún ông chùm này bàn tự tùl vì xong rồi bỏ chùm chọt yên sở rí chọc thằng ngày tí đọc mùi khai bị thuần này chăm bị bọn đọc phí tạm lý dạng mê tử vi cà phía cà đầy bọc cốt xong lại bằng sức chủ rùm nông sản nạc để bắt đầu nông bắt đầu sản nạc cái này sản cái này đời cột xong đời tạm đang cái chấm nạc sản nạc cái phi chủng ngái chấm tập còn sót tu, sản ra bây giờ phi cái chấm nạc sản nạc cái phi mùi thay này đây mùi là hai bánh hà sốp hiếp mình ai chẳng quy tạm đang cái chấm nạc sản nạc cái để bắt đầu bàn ông nhầm đại dương khởi thả về nước chuyển tập trung yên giới ban sông lẹp bằng sứt miền vật miền đất nông vật tục sạm nà cà đập tuấn tại quạt ai tầm nà cà nhà tạm đan cái tầm nà cà sạm nà cà pi chủng ngái pi vật tục không luôn môi thật cầm sả sạm nà cà đi ta mới dễ có có sốt tuốt nâng ai sầm rô đào tầm đẹp tầm đông được biên quạt chỉ môi nâng cầm về tivi cà pi cái bài bạc quạt bàn hai đội chân hết ông nhầm đây dùng prom tạm tầm nà sông một bọc chuyển tập trung yên giới để bàn sông tạm lẹp bằng sứt chủ rùm nông cây chấm nạc cà sạm nạc cà đập tuấn nông bắt đầu thẩm sạm nạc cà ní đời ở lũ yên thủy nơi tạm đan cây chấm nạc cà sạm nạc cà phi chủng ngái pi vận tốc khung khuôn môi thật cầm sạm sạm nạc cà ní tạm địa ông có sốt tu thẩm đạp địa pin đây cây chấm nạc cà sạm nạc cà pin một ngày ní hay bộ công an môn trai phụ nữ sốt tu cho bộ công an sốt tu thẩm đạp chuyên cho chọn yên thủy ai miền đất phía tạm đan cây chấm nạc cà sạm nạc cà phi chủng ngái sầm rập cây chấm nạc cà sạm nạc cà ngày ní và chiếc cách bắt đầu anh chị mình đã xong bắt đầu việc cả chuẩn từ gồm đồng nàng sắp đi nhá đồng bày mình đọc cả nông ca một to ca tăng thông luận đến đầu chứ của xã xây rút đi xong chơi đồng nàng sắp đi nhá để lại xã xong ổ cân lục thiên xong chung biếp xua lục xây chào khám hay xong chung biếp xua lục xã xây xã xã rốn When we stopped last week, we were talking about a meeting that you had in Phnom Penh and some communications that you had with Houston Pond. I want to continue asking you a little more about the issue of the request that you made for equipment or supplies. Can you tell us how often you made requests for equipment or supplies to the leaders in Phnom Penh? And how many times did you 
personally make requests uh, to Kisam Pan that you can call. Monsieur Président. Je vous remercie. C'est une question répétitive. Le témoin a déjà répondu à cette question. Mr. President, the witnesses indicated how many times he had chit-chats. ហើយកម្មវិធីការចំណាយចំណាយចំណាយចំណាយចំណាយចំណាយចំណាយចំណាយចំណាយចំណាយចំណាយចំណាយចំណាយចំណាយចំណាយចំណាយចំណាយចំ
issue of the conversation with Pisan Han came up in the context of a meeting um, that you were telling us about um, that you had traveled to Phnom, to Phnom Penh with, uh, to have a meeting with Pol Pot, Nguyen Chea, Son Sen, and Pisan Han, which took place about two to three months after the death of Talan. And last week you told us about matters that you reported on in that meeting uh, with Pol Pot, Nguyen Chea, Son Sen, and Q Sen What I'd like to ask you now is what instructions you received from the leaders uh, at that meeting in Phnom Penh. Thank you very much. Did you receive instructions also at that meeting uh, relating to Vietnam? Mr. President, we would like to um, at this point to read from the first interview uh, conducted by the investigating judges of this witness, which is E3-367. And the specific uh, ERN references are Khmer 00251439. English ERN 00278696. And French ERN 4864011. ปรมปูนปรมวยปรมวยปรมวยปรมวยปรมวยปรมวยปรมวยปรมวยปรมวยปรมวยปรมวยปรมวยปรมวยปรมวยปรมวยปรมวยปรมวยปรมว
Mr. President, I'm happy to rephrase the question to let the witness tell us that. Mr. Witness, can you tell us what instructions you received on the subject of resisting against the Vietnamese and who provided the instructions? Yes, the question is, what instructions were you given regarding resisting the Vietnamese, and who was it that gave you those instructions? Yes, uh, Meetings with the leaders in Phnom Penh. Were you expected to implement the instructions that you had received from them? But those who didn't the And when you returned from your meetings in Phnom Penh, um, did you hold meetings in Mandalkiri with sector or district officials uh, to convey the instructions to them? Yes, we did. Who, who would be invited from the sector to attend these meetings? Yes, the sector officials Were uh, representatives of the sector military invited to attend these meetings? Yes. Yes, I'm asking about the meetings you held when you returned to Mondalkiri. Uh, did those meetings include uh, representatives of the sector military? Last week, um, uh, Mr. Salsarun, I read to you and asked these questions, um, a number of questions uh, from the interview uh, of a friend of yours, someone you knew there, Mr. Ham and C. Um, Mr. President, I'd like to now uh, ask the witness about another uh, excerpt uh, from the Ham and C interview, which is document E3. Uh, e and the specific reference we'd like to use is 
bốn English bốn Anglais I N Son Son two five zero P Pram Son seven five one Pram P and French I R N zero zero two eight three P one six six to six seven When Haman C. some new and he made the following statement. I got by Slay, which noon looked from me, not strong. I know that sector level leaders went to meetings at the center. Once every month, in meetings attended by the sector com, the sector army, and the district comms. The sector com brought the word from the center level and explained to us to produce food and not let there be any shortages to defend the border with Vietnam and to track down the embedded enemies who contacted the Vietnamese and the enemy traders. End of quote. My question to you, Mr. Sal Sarun, is whether, as was stated by Ham on C, uh, that the instructions that were conveyed by the center and communicated to sector and district officials at these meetings in Mondulkiri included instructions to track down the embedded enemies and traders. Who was it from the top that provided the order to track down embedded enemies and traders? <coughs> Can you tell us, uh, Mr. Salsarun, what was done to follow Pol Pot's order and to track down embedded enemies and traitors in Mondulkiri? We'll come back a little, uh, a little more to that subject later, uh, Mr. Witness. Um, now, for the time being, I'd like to move on uh, to a different subject. Uh, on Thursday, uh, I questioned you uh, regarding three telegrams uh, that you sent to Office 870, uh, the last one of which was a telegram 54, uh, dated 23 April 1978. Uh, today, I would like to ask you just a couple of questions uh, about the next telegram that we have from you, um, which is dated 24th of April 1978 and is telegram 55. And Mr. President, that document is uh, E3 slash 498. Uh, it's also in the case file as D201. Slash 6.1, and uh, we request uh, uh, I'd like to proceed to ask to read the telegram to the witness first uh, and ask him some questions, and we'll also display the telegram on the screen. Remain. M 
Mr. Sasarun, uh, let me start by reading this telegram to you. It's a fairly short telegram, and then I'll have a few questions uh, for you. Uh, the the uh, telegram uh, is addressed uh, respectfully, uh, sent to a uh, respected brother. Uh, it's telegram number 55 from you, uh, dated 24th of April, 1978, and it has three paragraphs in it. The first paragraph uh, states as follows. Um, one, about the enemy situation, at one o'clock at night, on the 23rd of April, 1978, the Wan enemy attacked the division office in Te town for about six or seven minutes. We counter counterattacked them vigorously. Based on our examination, some of them were wounded. The second paragraph in your telegram uh, states as follows. The matter of O Chabar Dam on the night up the 22nd of April, there was a heavy rain causing Ochabar to be flooded, but it did not break any part of the dam. And the third uh, item in your telegram states, quote, requesting for some parts for the rave truck, including one injection pump, some fuel injections for the rave truck, Inject injection pumps for six cent truck and six fuel injections and a number of other items are listed. My first uh, question for you is, is this a telegram you recall sending uh, on the, uh, around the 24th of April 1978? Do you recall this, recall these matters? And your telegram indicates that the um, attack occurred at the division office in Te City. Where, where was Te City located? Was, was this a city that was uh, located near the border, near the Vietnamese border? At the bottom of uh, your telegram, um, there is a distribution list uh, that indicates that copies uh, were sent to, quote, uncle. Uncle Nguyen, Uncle Van, Uncle Vaughn, Office and Archive. There is a, a similar uh, or identical uh, distribution list uh, at the bottom of Telegram 54 that I asked you about last week. My question is, did you write these lists? of persons to, to whom copies of the telegrams were to be distributed, or was this list written by someone else after you sent tel the telegram?
Thank you. We've now seen um, four telegram reports uh, that you sent uh, to the party leaders in Phnom Penh uh, from between the April uh, 1st of January 1978 and the 24th of April 1978. Can you tell the court why you were sending reports to the party leaders in Phnom Penh during that time period? And was the reason that you were sending the reports because this was after uh, Secretary Lang uh, had been killed? បាទការមុនខ្ញុំក៏អត់មានជីវិតអីដែរខ្ញុំនៅស្រុកពេលតាឡាំងស្លាប់ទៅបាន Now, you confirmed uh, last week um, that the responses you received to your telegrams were addressed um, either by Pol Pot, Noon Chea, or M870. What I wanted to ask you now is what types of telegrams do you recall receiving from Noon Chea? Mr. President, if I can uh, read from a, uh, a section of uh, the witness's uh, first interview with the co-investigating judges, uh, which is document E3 slash 367 at Khmer 00-251-440 English ERN 00-278-696 and French ERN 00-486-012 and put that on the screen for me. In your interview uh, with the investigating <laughs> judges, uh, Mr. Sassaroon, you provided the following <laughs> testimony. Quote, question, uh, who else did you receive telegram from? telegrams from? Answer, I received them from Noon Chea from time to time. They described about going to study in the educational learning sessions. Does that refresh your recollection as to the types of telegrams you remember receiving from Noon Chea? In relation to the telegrams uh, that you sent uh, uh, to Phnom Penh, who established the format and procedure for sending those telegrams? Who, who is it that instructed on how telegrams were to be sent 
to Phnom Penh and the form of the telegrams. Did you receive any instructions on that matter? And can you tell us um, when was it that Pol Pot provided instructions to you uh, regarding the format and procedure for sending telegrams to Phnom Penh? Let me see if I can refresh your recollection again. Uh, Mr. President, we'd like to read from uh, what was the second uh, interview of the witness by the co-investigating judges. It is document E3 slash 383, and the reference is at Khmer 00345910 through 345911, English ERN 00350262, and French ERN 00. 361-762. And we'd like to put that document on the screen as well. Uh, we have the fault, you made the fault, provided the following testimony, Mr. Sassaroo. A question, did you take or set the numerical order yourself? Answer, the center set it and all sectors or zones had to do it in the same format. Question, how did you receive such instructions from the center? Answer, I received the instruction from Pol Pot when he chaired a meeting among sector committees and zone committees. The meeting was held in a place near the royal palace in Phnom Penh. Does that refresh your recollection as to when you received the instruction from Pol Pot relating to descending of telegrams How many people were present uh, at this meeting between Pol Pot and the Zone and Sector Committees? Do you recall whether this was a small meeting or a large meeting? How many times did you go to Phnom Penh to attend uh, a meeting between uh, Pol Pot and the sector and zone committees? แค่ประบวนปีปอนปอมบายตึบตึบมาดองนึงดอลมอเตอร์อันนึงบ้านตึบปีแค่แค่ที่แค่มวยนึงคือยวนโจลมอสโรกแล้วก็รถโจลปร
We're uh, all the zones and all independent uh, sectors uh, in the country represented at this meeting. Okay, we've we've previously talked about uh, a couple of trips uh, that you took to Phnom Penh after the death of Secretary, Secretary Lang, one that was immediately after his death, and another that was two or three months uh, after his death. Uh, did you later travel uh, to Phnom Penh uh, for a party congress uh, that was held in September 1978 around the time of the party anniversary? Uh, the party anniversary. บาดคือโดยชุมจำเรียงพังเลยนะคือแค่ประบวนที่ปอนปอนใบนึงคือประชุมสันติบาดคือครุบแค่ตู้เตียงเป๊ะคือมอตองออกนะ answer that was translated to me it it said september of 2008 uh, did you actually mean 1978 uh, this was something that happened during the democratic campuchia period សាសីបច្ចេកចំណុចនេះឡើងវិញពហដោយជាចំណុចខុសប៉ាកាលប្រឆែតមួយគឺខែ <coughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Um, can you tell us, uh, Mr. Sausaroon, what subjects were discussed? at the party congress that was held in September 1978. <laughs> Do you recall whether there was any discussion uh, at this Congress about the possible reopening of markets? มีการพิสูจน์แบบที่เต้นในขนมกันประชุมในเปโน่ปัญหาโดยอัดอัดชมอัดลือได้บ้างมิสเตอร์ประธานถ้าคุณอยากจะรีดอีกครั้งจากที
OCIJ interview of the witness, uh, which is document E3-367, and the excerpt we would like to read is at Khmer ERN 00251437, English ERN 00278694, and French ERN 00486010. And we would put that on the screen also with your permission. Uh, in your first interview with the investigating judges, Mr. Sousroon, uh, you made the following statement. Quote, During the party's anniversary, probably in September 1978, I attended the study session nationwide assembly regarding the currency printing and money circulation, allowing the people to return to the cities, the reopening of markets, and I did not hear about the reopening of monastery. In that meeting, they also raised the reasons that the changes occurred because Ankar had eliminated all enemies. Pol Pot personally declared that policy and all other dignitaries in the opening and closing sessions sat next to each other and listened to him. Do you confirm uh, this statement today? Is this a true statement about what took place at the September 1978 Congress? <laughs> Your a statement references uh, other dignitaries who were present. Do you remember uh, who were the other party leaders who attended? This Congress. But Kumpeling at Squaldale, Mintaknach at Tanke How, Small Bankum Yol, but Uh, Mr. President, if I can continue uh, to read to the witness um, a, the next section uh, from that same interview, E3-367, uh, which is the same, uh, same page sites as, as before. I may proceed. Uh, in, uh, also in your first interview, uh, Mr. Sousroon, on the subject of this meeting, uh, you made the following statement, quote, the persons who attended in the opening and closing sessions included Pol Pot, Noon Chea, Kusam Pan, Ing Sari, Ing Tirit, and San Sen, but Noon Chea gave more presentations than the others. Do you confirm uh, that this is a correct uh, description uh, of the September 1978 Party Congress? <laughs> Do you recall what subjects Noon Chea gave presentations on at the Congress? Mm -hmm. 
บาทคุมจำขอดตีชีวมวยคือทับปัญหากรุบกรองปลอยจิตจนปอยบ้านอ๋อเรียบจำภูมิทานปอยปลอยจิตจนปอยบ้านอ๋อหนึ่งดาสไลจี้เพียบปลอยจนปอยเมียนหุบจกปอยกรุบกรองได้Uh, do you recall uh, whether presentations were made by Q. s e m p a n at this Congress? And do you recall whether there were any presentations by Ing s a r i at the party Congress? บาทอัตเมียนเดียวนี่ you indicated in your statement that at the Congress Pol Pot announced that markets would be reopened and that people would be allowed to return to the cities because Ankar had eliminated all the enemies. Do you recall what the reaction was of the party cadres in attendance at the meeting when this announcement was made? คือจ่ายลุยออยปล่อยจนโจลมติกรุงแต่กรรมผิดบาทแต่อ๋ออดลือปฏิกรรมเอ๋ยต่ออ๋อแต่บาทคุณไปที่ไหนคุณไปที่ไหน And how long did it last? But Sunday bad, nó cứ thơ chôm viêm mình chỉ còn cần lên, thật ra không biết Sunday bad nó chuyện đập ngay mà. And was this uh, a large meeting that was attended by representatives from throughout the country? Did the meeting include representatives from the military? And was this a meeting that was attended by the members of the party's central committee? But man, can you uh, describe for us who the cadres were who were invited uh, to attend the meeting? Was it only cadres from a certain echelon or level up? But the bond, the not the bond, the not Kong Paul, but group, the bond group, Kong Paul, but. And Mr. President, if I may read uh, another excerpt uh, from the same interview, uh, which is E3367, uh, and it is, again, a continuation from the same year and pages uh, that I just presented a few minutes ago, if we may put that on the screen again. 
in your uh, first interview uh, with the investigating judges, uh, Mr. Sousaru, you made the following statement, quote, the attendees in that meeting were from all over the country, including soldiers and civilians who held the ranks from battalion chiefs and district comm or higher, end of quote. Does that refresh your recollection on who uh, the cadres were who were invited to attend this Congress? Now, how did you know uh, who were the members of the Central Committee who were in attendance at this meeting? Do you recall approximately how many people were called up onto the stage? Where were you seated in relation to the stage? Were you at a table uh, that had been set up for the uh, representatives from Mondalkiri? And just so I understand correctly, uh, were members of the Central Committee uh, identified and called to come onto the stage? Is that how uh, you uh, knew that members of the Central Committee were present at this meeting? But who were the members of the Central Committee that you do recall being called up to the stage? Who were the members of the Central Committee Uh, Mr. President, if I may read from uh, a, a different interview uh, of the witness, uh, which is, was his fourth uh, interview, it is document E3 slash 404, uh, that was also in the case file as D232 slash 30, and the reference I would like 
mà to ask the witness about is that Khmer ERN 00398480 English ERN 00403024 through 4030025 and French ERN 00484198 And again, we would like to put that uh, onto the screen. In your uh, fourth interview with the investigating judges, uh, you made the following statement, quote, In September 1978, at Borai Kaila, near the Olympic Stadium, the Central Committee that included all members of the Central Committee, namely Pol Pot, Kusam Pan, Noon Chea, Ing Turit and Ing Sari, as well as the representatives of all provinces and the representatives of all divisions, participated in the great Congress. In total, there were many hundreds of people. Do you confirm uh, that this is an accurate statement about the September 1978 Congress, Mr. Witness? And does this refresh your memory about where Congress was held? And as you indicated in the statement, was Q Sampan one of the members people who was identified as a member of the Central Committee and called to the stage at the Congress. And was Ying Suri also identified as a member of the Central Committee and called to the stage? Do you remember whether the Central Committee included uh, leaders from the provinces um, such as Tamok? Do you know whether uh, prior to his death, uh, whether um, Mondalkiri sec Secretary Lang had been a member of the Central Committee? Now, was the party congress uh, that we've been discussing uh, an event that was held annually in September of each year? ព្រមបួនរៀងរាល់ឆ្នាំតាម
who else from Mondulkiri came with you uh, to this party congress? Do you recall whether uh, which people uh, from the division came with you? Um, and by the division, are you referring to Division 920? Was it during this party congress in September 1978 that you were officially appointed as the Secretary of Sector 105? And was your appointment announced at the big meeting that all the representatives were present at, or was it announced at some different meeting? Were there other appointments in addition to yours that were also announced uh, at the Congress? แต่ก็มีแต่ลูกเนี่ยเทศกิจกรรมเนาะหรือก็มีแต่ลูกเนี่ยเทศกิจกรรมเนาะแต่ก็มีแต่ลูกเนี่ยเทศกิจกรรม
Do you confirm uh, that this is a correct statement of an event that happened at the September during the time you were in Phnom Penh in September 1978? And was it Pol Pot that provided you with this confession, as indicated in your statement? But, Where was it that this took place? Uh, where was it that you met with Pol Pot and he showed you a confession that implicated you? Uh, and was he involved in any way? And when you say that the confession was sent to you, where, where, where was it that you received the confession? Do you remember where you stayed in Phnom Penh while you were present uh, for the uh, September 1978 <coughs> How did you know that the confession that was sent to you uh, had been sent by Pol Pot? ຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄືຄື
Did you uh, have a conversation with Pol Pot about the confession after it had been sent to you? During your uh, testimony, <coughs> since you've been at the court, um, Mr. Sassarum, you've mentioned a number of times the Sector 105 uh, military or security chief. ថាសុភាតើលោកជិតឆ្នេតនឹងតាសុភានឹងដូចមិនដេចដែរបាទជិតឆ្នេតគឺតាមwas he your brother-in-law who was married uh, to your sister named Lap? But, man, man. Were they married during the Democratic Cappuccino regime or before that? But, but, How often did you see Tasapia in 1978? <coughs> Uh, I would now like to read uh, you another uh, excerpt uh, from the uh, OCIJ interview uh, of uh, Ham and C uh, that we've been using before. Uh, and Mr. President, uh, this is document E3 slash 366, and the excerpt that I would like to ask the witness about is at Khmer 00242413 through 242414 English ERN 00250750 and French ERN 00283166 and if we can put that on the screen as well. Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, in his interview with the investigating judges, Ham um, An Si made the following statement, quote, Ta Sophia, let me read confessions from the center in which soldiers of Division 920 had implicated persons they knew and fellow soldiers. I don't remember the names of the persons who made the confessions. I remember that one person they impl implicated was the chairman of a company based in Kaosima district, end of quote. Can you confirm whether confessions from the center were sent to the Sector 105 military chief, Ta Sophia?
महात क्यों आत्मज्ञाल दे बाय At the September 1978 <coughs> 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 Did Pol Pot say that a civilian and military cadres should stop killings and arrests unless a prior summons from the center was obtained? But don't ແລະມີເລື່ອງມີລາອ້ອຍກໍໄດ້ຄືແຄບສຣົກກອງພົນເບີອັດມີເດກາກໍປີກະນະມະຊິນຄືອັດມີຊິດ And uh, in your last interview with the co-investigating co judges, uh, you were read a document, uh, which was a document D189.1, uh, E3-764, uh, the document that was read to you uh, is a 20 June 1978 the party, revolution, people, and democratic uh, end of the title. Uh, do you recall uh, in your last interview the co-investigating judges reading uh, that document to you and whether that uh, the document that they read to you was part of the policy, uh, the new policy on arrests uh, that you had heard announced at the September 1978 Congress. <laughs> And the document that was read to you, do you recall uh, that that was part of the new policy uh, that had been announced at the September 1978 Congress? <laughs> Now, Mr. President, if we may uh, put uh, that document, uh, E3-764, uh, which is also uh, D189.1, uh, up on the screen, uh, I want to read and ask the witness about the very last paragraph uh, at, the, at the end of that document.
just to correct the record, um, I'm told by my colleague that there was a, that the uh, document that I read was translated incorrectly. Um, the case file, original case file number was D189.1. Um, there are uh, two versions of this uh, that have been assigned E3 numbers. Uh, one is E3 slash 764. Uh, and uh, there is also the identical document, I believe, uh, is E3 slash 763. Um, and Mr. President, I'll proceed just to read the last part of this. Uh, Uh, at the very end of this document, uh, Mr. Salsaroon, there is a paragraph uh, titled Instructions for the Application of this Guidance. And the first part of that paragraph of the instructions states as follows, quote, it is requested to all the regions, sectors, and the military units to take this above guidance to educate and to conduct meetings inside the respective parties or organizations, ministries and offices in the military units, cooperatives, factories and work sites in order that all the masses of people will learn about this policy of the party. Now, my first question for you is, do you recall whether copies of this document were distributed to you and other representatives at the party congress so that you could disseminate the policy to your organizations? ពិភាគសាយគឺអានដោយលោកចក្រមមិនអានខ្ញុំឲ្យអានខ្ញុំស្ដាប់បាទតែឯកសារនឹងគឺត្រឡប់ទៅពីសន្និបាតបានគេជ
ចាប់ពីពេលនេះទៅទៅរហូតដល់ម៉ោងដល់មួយខ្វះដល់ទីសូមជាងជួលវិញដើម្បីបន្តគិតចំណើកការសម្ណាការហើយមន្ត្រី